Hi guys, it's Melissa from designsbylittlebee.com. Today I'm going to do a really quick uh, instructional video on how I use eyelets. This is the second time I've ever used eyelets on a project, so remember it's not nice to make fun of people if they do things that are embarrassing. So I'm going to set my camera down and I'm going to show you, yes I'm right here on the floor in my dining room. Okay, so this is the eyelet kit that I got from Joanne. There are several different kinds. I got one, I think it is um, a quarter of an inch um, diameter, and here's what mine came with. It came with um, the little eyelets that look like this. It came with a top and a bottom. It's called an anvil and something else, I can't remember. They're like mashers, okay? And that's it. And then you need a hammer from home. So, first you take your project that you're going to install an eyelet on, or in, and you need to cut a hole into the um, fabric. I'm wearing these squeaky boots. Look at my boots. Aren't they cute? Um, you need to poke a hole in it. So, I poked a hole with my seam ripper, and then I just cut it um, carefully with um, some of my small sewing scissors. Another great thing to use for these would be a crocodile, or if you have like an industrial strength um, cutter that you could cut through vinyl and several layers of fabric, that would be great as long as the holes aren't bigger than your eyelet because obviously then it would just fall through. So you take your eyelet. Here's my project I'm going to be installing an eyelet on. It's a little um, fabric lip balm case. Like, it's kind of, it's just like any other in the hoop project. You make it with fabric and then you flip it inside out. There's the hole for the lip balm. So what you want to do is find your hole that you made to install your eyelet. You put it through front to back. You're going to smash the back side of your eyelet. So you want the front side to be the pretty round, um, prefabricated round spot. Uh, round circle. So like here's the opening for my lip balm and here's the front. So I put the nice front circle right there. Got it? Okay. Then according to my instructions, I'm going to take my little bottom piece. I think it's called an anvil. When I think of anvil, I think of um, Wile E. Coyote. <laughs> Don't use it like that. Okay. So just like your snap setters, this anvil piece has a little um, indentation and that fits perfectly into the eyelet that you purchased. So you're going to take it. Make sure you do this on a hard surface. The first one I did was on carpet downstairs in my sewing room. And it came out horrible because it sinks down into the carpet. So you want to make sure to do this on a hard surface. Now you take your other piece, your longer piece, and your, it has a similar little indentation. You want to fit that onto the top. And you're going to hold it carefully, and now it's just like hammering in a nail. You're going to take your hammer, and you're going to go... Okay, sorry if that was loud. Okay, ah, that one, that one turned out way better than my first one, look. So there's the front, which still looks good. And then there's the back. See how it just flowered out? when you um, hit it with the hammer. So now you have a little eyelet. That was super easy to do, right? Now there are other kinds that you can get. Um, the kit I saw online from Amazon the other day actually had two sides to the eyelet. Uh, one was long and one was short and you mashed them together. That would probably, honestly, I think I would like that better than this kind that kind of looks raw on the back. Um, but that's personal preference. I've also seen the kind that come with a hand setter, kind of like your snap setter, and you somehow put the pieces in and then you smash them. I haven't tried that kind. Uh, my advice is get the cheapest one and try, uh, try it. See if you like it. If you don't, you can always try something else. As with many things in embroidery and crafting in general, it's all personal preference, what you like to do. I just wanted to show you what um, I accomplished. This is only the second time I've done it. It's really easy. Uh, I don't, I think I'll try another kind next time, but this definitely works for the purpose of installing an eyelet. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick, show you how easy it is. Don't be afraid of getting projects that you're going to have to cut holes in and install eyelets. And I will see you 
in the next video and I'll chat with you in the group.